Today I'm going to demonstrate ID Wedge Pro working with a CR5400 scanner. I'm going to show you how to scan driver license data into a form displayed on a web page. A key point to take note of is that the data coming off the card is not typed into the form via keyboard, but is pulled into the browser by JavaScript. If you take a look at the screen here, on the top right I have a webcam pointed at our CR5400 scanner. Underneath that is the ID Wedge Pro program, and on the left is Google Chrome on a web page displaying our form running JavaScript. And since we don't need ID Wedge Pro showing as it's supposed to run in the background, I will hide it in the taskbar for the duration of this demo. Now one of the cool features of ID Wedge Pro is our WCF mode. Whenever you scan a card, so we'll wait a few seconds. So whenever you scan a card, the data is pulled off the card and displayed on the form by JavaScript. The image is also pulled, as well as a close-up of the face. Uh, all of this is pulled via JavaScript. So we just use Google Chrome, but this also works with other web browsers. Let's give it a try with Internet Explorer. So once again, I'll scan the card, wait a few seconds for it to read. And once again, the data is pulled off the card, as well as the image and the close-up of the face. Let's try Mozilla Firefox. Once again, the data, the image, and the close-up of the face is pulled off the card and displayed on the form by JavaScript. For web developers, let's take a look at the source code from the sample web page. As you can see, it's JavaScript code, which is looking for information made available through ID Wedge Pro's WCF services. So there you have it. That's scanning a driver license with the CR5400 using the ID Wedge Pro and pulling the data into the form by JavaScript. Thank you.